Hi everybody, welcome back to the Bolt Hole Biker and to my first vlog from the garage for quite a while. Anyway, I've come into the garage today to um, get the Duke cleaned up, ready for being swapped over with the electric bike, which I'm assuming is going to be within the next week or so. And I've come out and guess what? Look at this. Bloody coolant leak. I've had this bike for three years. I've been singing its praises saying how I've never had a coolant leak and so many people have had coolant leaks, etc. And just before I get rid of it, it leaks. I think it knows it's going. Anyway, so this final clean up and sort of make sure that everything's ship shaped and tighten up all the bolts are now going to involve uh, taking the radiator off. And I think I've uh, located where the leak's coming from. I think it's, I'll show you. This hose here, at the other end of it, I think the Jubilee clip, which is tucked right up there, right up there. It's got a bit of corrosion on it, so I'm guessing that's where the leak's coming from. Um, so I'm gonna drop the radiator, take the hose off, make sure there's no cracks in the hose, splits in the hose. Uh, and then put it on with a, a new Jubilee clip. Luckily, when I was doing the uh, the Brat build on the C90, I bought some really, really decent sort of like marine quality uh, hose clips, so I'm, I'm sorted in that department. So anyway, stick with me and we'll see if we can repair the leak. Luckily, dropping the radiator from a Duke 790 is not too onerous. It's pretty basic the way it comes out. The only thing you do have to remember is there's a little wire bracket thing right at the top of the radiator at the front it's just on two little Torx bolts but if you don't take it off it stops the radiator pulling forwards it's such a silly little thing I'll show you and that's it just that silly little thing has caused me no end of trouble in the past until I found out it was there and then it's been easy That's one of the top bolts. Now that's the radiator loose. I'm going to take this pipe off so I'm going to get a bucket. That's that. KTM use these sort of spring loaded um, Jubilee clips which I'm not a massive fan of but they seem to work. was hoping to leave this one attached and just drop the radiator forwards but it's not going to come out like that. It's going to have to come out, down and over so unfortunately this one's got to come off. The rubber's just kind of sealed onto the uh, metal of the, of the radiator. That's it. I didn't want to have to take the whole thing off but it's no real hardship and at least it means I can have a proper look underneath just to see if where I think the leak's coming from is where it's coming from which is from the end of this pipe I think I'm going to see if I can see any sort of evidence of where it might have dripped I can see that it's been landing here because this is where there's a splash mark so directly above that Oh, it's a bit moist there, which is underneath where that is, so it would run down there. I think that's it. And there's a bit of corrosion on there. Oh. 
going to take that pipe off and have a look. Well, I've got the hose off, and I have to say, it's, it's still very rubbery, and there don't appear to be any splits in it or anything. And it's still, it, it's not sort of, you know, started deteriorating. It's, it's still a rubber hose with rubberiness to it. I'm just going to check there's no damage at the, the sort of the bike side of it. And um, if there isn't, I'm going to just have my fingers crossed that it, was, it just needs a new Jubilee clip. There is a tiny bit of corrosion on this fitting as well, so I'm just going to spray a little bit of um, uh, ACF 50 on it. I don't like rust at all. I am going to give the bike a good clean because I went out for a ride on it the other week. And uh, Got a bit muddy. New Jubilee clips. I mean, you can see the difference in the quality. That's the old clip. That's the new one. We're talking Mini Metro, Rolls Royce. Hopefully, that's going to work. Mini Metro. When was the last time you heard about one of them? Get that tightened up. Hopefully that's sorted it. I'm just going to stick the radiator back on, so I'm not going to film that. I won't bore you with the details. It's just the reverse of what I did in the first place. I'll turn the camera back on when the radiator is back on. Right, that's the radiator back on. It went went back on nice and easy. It's just the four bolts. Um, oh, actually, I haven't put that back on yet, so I'll put that back on in a minute. But again. That's just uh, the two little uh, Torx bolts. That's how it's easy to do. So I'm going to fill it up with um, coolant now, and then I'll run it for a little while, just sort of get it through the system and put it back on the ramp and see if we get any drips. That's better. OAT anti-freezing coolant. Ooh. That filled up quicker than I thought it was going to. Just give the pipes a little bit of a squeeze. Okay, so... Once I've put the lid back on, the radiator and this back on, I'm going to take the bike off the ramp, just idle it until it gets up to temperature, then I'll turn it off, back on the ramp, check the coolant level, well let it cool down a bit, check the coolant level and uh, see if we've got any drips in the morning and I'll take it out for a little, a little ride tomorrow just to see if it holds water. burning off. Right, it's only been about 20 minutes since I ran the engine, but currently no drips. So, fingers crossed, I'll have a look tomorrow, and then I'll finish the video when I find out whether I've sorted the leak or not. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much. 
and your reward for that is that you'll be one of the first people to have seen that I've finally succumbed and got bolt hole biker stickers. And if you want one, just drop me an email, Stephen at the bolt hole biker, and I'll pop some in the post to you. No charge. Dry as a bone. Well, thankfully I've been able to sort the leak on my bike. Um, I know there has been an issue historically with um, coolant leaks on KTM Duke 790s, which I've managed to avoid up until now. Uh, the, the only obvious place really for coolant leaks is going to be the, the two pipes either into or out of the radiator. And it may be something as simple as swapping the Jubilee clip over. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far. I hope it's been a useful video, particularly if you might have a coolant leak on a Duke 790. And don't forget, if you want to get a uh, bolt hole biker sticker, then just drop me a line and I'll get some out in the post to you. I wanted to wait until I got past 2,000 subscribers before I got stickers done, but we went past that a couple of weeks ago and we're, we're well past 2,000 now. So thank you very much for that if you're one of those 2,000 subscribers. And if you're not, and you're enjoying the channel, then why not consider hitting the subscribe button and you'll be notified any time I do any more videos. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.